Hey, great to meet you. Hi. So I, I read you were originally going to be a surgeon. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I was a science major in, in, in college, so I was a molecular biology major for three years. So uh, all girls I, school too? I, went, I did go to an all girls school. Yeah, most of my life from like five to sixteen. So I uh, I always like telling stories. I always used to put plays on in my my parents' living room, and I just didn't think honestly it was possible for me to be um, in this world because I come from Texas and worlds away from this world. But um, yeah, I came out to college uh, with acting in mind and tried to do both and. Uh, Got three out of the four years with a science major, and then I switched majors. <laughs> when I How excited are you guys to be on this show, on this Amazon show, you know, pretty majors? <laughs> I'm incredibly excited. Most of all, we've got the star of Teen Wolf uh, in my favorite Who's your episode. audition? Who's your, who's your interview partner? So, uh, you know, uh, I'm incredibly excited. I think Lore is a television show for the modern age. You've got, you know, Aaron Mankey, who created a podcast in his basement that's now become the largest independent podcast in the world. You've got Gail Ann Hurd, who's one of my favorite producers of all time, who's had such an incredible amount of success and an unmistakable uh, track record of hit making, Terminator, Aliens, The Walking Dead, the list goes on and on. Ben Silverman, Howard Owens, Glenn Morgan, there's a, there's a dream team. So, you know, I'm incredibly excited and, and most of all because we got to, to uh, work with Aaron Mankey. I love that guy. I love his podcast and that's kind of why this whole thing is grown because he's doing something special. The most polished answer <laughs> I think I've gotten. There you go. How do you feel about being on a digital platform as opposed to a traditional TV? Do you think that limits or is that the wave of the future? to be on Amazon as opposed to, you know, a major network for a show? Uh, I'm fangirling a little bit because Transparent's one of my favorite television shows. Yeah. So the fact that uh, I'm an actor who's about to be on a streaming platform, I feel quite proud. I feel like I've uh, graduated college and I'm in the real world. It's sort of that <laughs> feeling where um, I have n not yet been a part of this this. Uh, stage in, in television so I'm actually quite excited that I can watch all of the episodes at once and uh, and I happen to just be a part of it. I love Amazon. Where else can you watch a horror movie and then order like a camping <laughs> chair? You know like I, I, I love it. I love it. Like I, I'll watch stuff. I love Man in the High Castle. I'm a huge Phil, mm. K, K, Phil K. Dick fan but then halfway through it it's like oh my god I need dishwashing detergent. You know it's, it's a unique community that, that Jeff has built. I think their alternative team with Conrad and Tracy is doing something special. And the fact that they supported us to innovate and do something different means the, means the world. So I'm incredibly proud to be at Amazon. And I think, uh, you know, for, for me and our, my generation, I don't think we care how content comes. We just want to find cool stuff. If we can watch it on our phone, great. You know, if I have to watch it somewhere else, I'll go find it too. So I think there's a place for streaming and a place for cable, but undoubtedly Amazon is, is the present and the future. Are you guys binge watchers yourself, like you mentioned Transparent, or do you watch one episode a week kind of thing? No, I'm a binge watcher. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I have, my work uh, flows in the sense that I will work three months nonstop, 16 hours a day, and then I have two or three months off. And so that is setting up a very unhealthy routine of hours of TV watching. <laughs> and I actually have time to do it. <laughs> yeah, I love binge watching. Who doesn't? I mean, uh, I think the fact that you can really kind of indulge yourself nowadays, it's, it's great for both the creator and the viewer, you know, for to not have to pause for commercial breaks and it adjusts how you write a show, right? Yeah. It adjusts how you direct a show. It adjusts in some ways how she would perform. Mm -hmm. So it, it just allows us to do something new and different. And, uh, you know, I, like a, a friend of mine put together the OA and I remember when it came out, I was like, I'm going to watch every freaking episode tonight. <laughs> this is amazing. And then I go back and I watch old shows. So I love it. I yeah, love it. it's, it's, I would say even a challenge because, to, you know, to the writers, to the directors, to the actors, because if there is any slight difference or hole in your character development throughout a show, they will notice because they've just watched it 20 minutes ago yeah. from the previous episode where there was a little bit more leeway when you only got it once a week and then it was off air for five months. And so for me, uh, it's it's a nice challenge to, you have to really study a character and make sure there's a natural progression, organic progression throughout the show. Awesome, thanks guys. Thank you.